Hi and welcome. This is Lisa Rangel with Chameleon Resumes, a premier executive resume writing company. And thank you so much for joining me today. Today, we're going to talk about tackling ageism with your executive resume. Now, I know that ageism is a, is a touchy subject and I want to make no mistake. Ageism is always wrong, never proper. And I know that, I mean, I'm 52. I, I know that I've experienced it at times and it's just beyond unpleasant. Um, but make no mistake, it's always wrong. But what I want to talk about here today is how job seekers sometimes introduce ageism into their resume completely unknowingly. And, you know, it's important to not do this, right? Because I find that job seekers that say, oh, I'm not getting hired because of ageism. I often see that what gets labeled as ageism isn't really ageism. You know, it could be that you're not properly marketing yourself for a role. It could be that you're using an outdated practice or more than one outdated practice on your resume. And so, you know, if you come across outdated in your presentation on your resume or even your LinkedIn profile, I know we're talking about resumes today, but it's even your LinkedIn profile, you know, being outdated and being called out for it is not ageism. It's being outdated. Here's the good news. You can fix what's outdated. You can fix if there's something wrong with how you're presenting yourself for a particular job. You can't fix how old you are. So my, my concern, my, my charge to you is, you know, when you're worried about ageism, that's my concern. When you're worried about ageism, you're worried about something you can't fix. You know, we can't fix how old we are. We can't fix how old we are but we can fix outdated presentations, misaligned presentations, and you know how we present ourselves on the interview and how we present ourselves on LinkedIn. Again, I know we're talking about resumes here, but it really goes for the whole entire job search practice. So the good news is we can fix outdated. We can fix a misaligned job descript, uh, job presentation. So let's do that. So, you know, some ways that you can eliminate ageism from your resume is, you know, one, don't allude to age. And ways that people do that, and I want you to stop if you are, is they call themselves seasoned. You know, seasoned should be res res uh, reserved just for French fries. I love seasoned French fries. But it shouldn't describe a person applying for a job. Another way that um, people rely on uh, the seniority labels is by saying, you know, over 30 years experience, over 20 years of experience. You know, our, our seniority does not qualify us for a job. I wanna, I wanna say that, and I say us because I'm 52. Um, you know, we all know people who have 25, 30 years of experience and they are amazing, right? And we all know people with 25, 30 years of experience who can't work themselves in a paper bag. <laughs> so know that our years of experience don't automatically qualify us. And so when we lead with that as a qualifier on the top of our resume, the top of our profile, we're basically telling the, the reader, the hiring manager, that, you know, oh, don't worry about my achievements. You should just know that, you know, I have 25 years of experience. It's kind of a, it, it comes across a little blowhardy, you know, and we're not, but yet, and then we get, and then we're upset if, because we're not listing achievements, we're leading with seniority, we're upset that we're not getting chosen for the job or for the interview. So there's the thing. You can't lead with what doesn't matter. You always have to lead with what matters. So then the third thing is to, this is not, not something to avoid, it's something to do. You want to lead with achievements. Achievements are ageless. Lead with how you are relevant to what the job, to what the recruiter is seeking in their next role, in their next hire. And make sure that it is relevant to the, what that employer is trying to fix, that problem they're trying to fix, or that opportunity that they're trying to capitalize on. So that, you know, those are basically three ways that you can absolutely make a difference in eliminating uh, ageism from your resume and positioning yourself as the person who is spot on, who is qualified, and should be the leader that is chosen for that role. So if this resonates with you, 
and you want to learn more about how to remove ageism from your presentation and how to conduct your job search in a progressive, um, achievement-driven manner, I'm going to ask you to take a look at the resource that I've written called Beat Ageism and Get Hired. It's the book that I've written that I think you'll get a lot of benefits out of if you want to buy that book. So you can get the link to the book outside this window um, to the link provided and and let me know what you think. So if you like this video, I'm going to ask you to like it. And if you know someone who feels that they're suffering from ageism and you know you can help them fix it by sharing this video with them, I'm going to ask you to share it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you do not miss next week's video. And if you have a question or a comment, feel free to comment below or email me at lr at chameleonresumes.com. I pride myself on trying to read and reply to every comment and every email, and I look forward to hearing from you. So um, thank you so much for watching today and have a great day.